let's go over a couple things. This is everything today is called what I like to call a you problem. All right. You need to pay attention to the bond conditions and everything that I say about your bond. All right. Don't depend on everybody else to remember. You need to listen. You need to pay attention. I don't do the math and figure out what the total is, but I rattle off individual amounts for your bond. So either remember them, write them down, but your public defender will email you. I mean, excuse me, will mail you a copy of your bond order. If you get out before you get that, it falls on you to go by the courthouse or call your lawyer and get a copy of it because there will be some things like stay away from a, a place, don't have contact with somebody, no drugs, no alcohol, no weapons. I may place an ankle monitor on you. I may tell you to stay out of Fulton County or stay away from a certain address. And gentlemen, there are no ladies here. So gentlemen, when I say stay out of Fulton County or stay out of an address, I mean it. I will revoke your bond if you get caught and I told you to stay away from a place. So please pay attention, okay? And if you move, you need to make sure that you update your address with your attorney because once again, gentlemen, this is a you problem. Your, your notices for your hearing will get mailed and things like that to the address that you give. Don't put this on your mother and your grandmother and your sister and your cousins and your uncles to tell you when you need to be at court because they're going to forget. And they're not going to get arrested for missing court. You will. All right. So stay in there. When I call your name, wave at me so I'll know that you're here. All right. And once I finish talking to you, you can go ahead and leave the booth. Everybody got it, gentlemen? All right. We'll get you all out of here as quickly as possible. So once I call your name, don't worry if the person that I call is behind you. I'll come back to it once you leave out. Y'all can swap places, okay? We got our court reporter here, F court reporters here. Go to sleep. Don't order anything on the little board next door, the little phone, whatever you're ordering, snacks. Don't do that. Pay attention. Come on in, gentlemen, two north. If you got a bond here, come on into the booth. Let's go. Come on in here and have a seat. Come on in, gentlemen. Come on in and have a seat. Get through this as quickly as possible. Two north. There you go. Shut that door behind you. All right. Come on in, gentlemen. Have a seat. Have a seat. I got you. All right, everybody. We'll go ahead and start with Cobb since the deputy made a trip up there. Gentlemen, pay attention. This is what I like to call a you problem. Everything I say today is about you, not about anybody else. You need to take note. This is going to tell you what your bond is, what conditions you have with bond, or anything else of that nature. Don't depend on your mother, your grandmother, your dad, your brother, your sister. Needs to be you. Your lawyer's going to mail you copies of your bond orders after they finish today. If you bond out and don't get a copy of your bond order, if I were you, I would get back in touch with them when I get out and say, please mail me a copy of my bond order. That has conditions, things you're not going to be able to do. Come on in, booth one. On, on north, booth four. Come on in. Have a seat. Right. Four. Let's see. So it's a uh, two two CP two one four one five three Augustus Green. Hundred and two days without indictment. Last time bond was addressed in November of last year. There's an eight thousand dollar good bond on criminal damage to property, second degree, furnishing, furnishing, purchasing, and possession of alcohol uh, beverages by persons below legal age, giving false information law enforcement officer, and criminal trespass. <laughs> Um, you have a different it has two cycles. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. I didn't, but I would have, but I didn't. You didn't what? Oh, I you didn't, didn't rename them? Mm -mm. Oh, they must have re they must have renamed themselves. Yeah, that's definitely my MO though. I I would have. But uh, well, that has surprised me that you went down again <laughs> to break our rule for twenty. Right. I that's, did. That's surprising. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess I'm. Oh, so maybe I'm confused. I was confused because it was two people on the screen, but maybe one of them is a lawyer. If if one is a lawyer, the lawyer doesn't have on a jacket or a tie. So that probably confused me. You're muted. I am. Apologize for that, Your Honor. There was a mishap this morning, and I honestly I spilled on my tie and my jacket on the way oh. here. Okay, because I I promise you I was confused. I put you in that breakout room number twenty, and I was I thought you must be the complaining witnesses because it was two people. 
and neither one of them had on a jacket or a tie. Bam, that's all it is. Bam. They must be um, great winners. Okay, so give me a moment. Mr. Uh, Colossa, back to you. Um, oh, Miss Stevenson, I'm going to bring in Miss Walker. I'm assuming you proceeded. Your Honor, on behalf of Ms. Bradford, we would first offer the court an apology for Ms. Bradford's prior appearance at the time that this case was initially called. Uh, Ms. Bradford, without offering this as an excuse, just wants the court to know she was um, not lying in bed. She was on her bed trying to charge her phone. That won't happen again. She'll charge her she phone. She was in the bed. I don't care if, what she was doing in the bed. She was clearly laying in the bed. And end of, I am one thing I'm for certain of, one thing I'm for certain of, is that wherever Miss Bradford is, mm -hmm. there is a plug that is not at the bed that she could have charged her phone and not be lying in the bed. Second of all, once the court brought to her attention that she was lying in the bed, Mm -hmm. Everybody else that I've ever had came in contact with on the Zoom court that that was um, uninformed enough to come to court in the bed would get up out of the bed when the judge says get you're in the bed. Second of all, the apology should have probably extended from my first encounter with Miss Bradford. I mean, with Miss. Yeah, Br Bradford, but you wouldn't have known it because you, I think, was in the breakout room when I had to go into the breakout room with Miss Bradford and admonish her to never speak to me again in the manner that she continued to speak to me, even when she saw that I was the judge. That... Okay, so anyway, continue, Miss Stevenson, but she was laying in the bed. And in the bed. She was laying down in a bed. I said I Ma'am, Miss Stevenson. I am Mr. Beat with my daughter. I've been here the whole 17 years. I can't turn myself in Friday. I don't want to go against your orders. Uh, I wish it could be another way. I'm not running from you. I had this thing going when I come to you. I turn myself in, but it will not be Friday. Well, Tell you what, you know, you can elect to do it your way or you can elect to do it my way. Um, that's going to be your choice. You decide you don't want to do an alcohol screening and assessment. You don't want to do anything. You continue to violate on the scram tether. So here's what we're going to do. It's a sentence of the court. I'll just order the $125 statutory fees. I will order 93 days. In the well, hold on a second. Is that the max on this? Yeah. I'll order 93 days. Well, hold on a second. What did he plead to? Operating one with that. Okay. I'll order 93 days for Washington County Jail. Credit to defendant to serve the balance. Defendant has told me he doesn't want to report, so we're going to do it this way. I didn't tell you. Report, I'm going to order that the, you. I'm not. You don't get to choose your time. I mean, can we work? You're, I'm going to order that you report to the Washtenaw County Jail by 6 p.m. today. Failure to report will issue. There will be a bench warrant issued for your arrest. That event bench warrant will issue with no bond. So you don't report 6 p.m. today. Your choice. I'll send people to get you. It's real easy for me. Thank you. That's so. Sure. Court calls the case, People versus Rishi Cavallero. Silvana Reed, Assistant Public Defender with and on behalf of Mr. Cavallero. Mr. Cavallero, can you please unmute and state your name for the record? <laughs> Ricky Cavallero. Thank you. Right. Your Honor, we have reviewed the um, recommendation in this matter. We have no additions, deletions, or corrections, and we would just ask that probation's recommendation be adopted. Really? Does he want to make his own sentence too? No, he's no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. More than one. Sure. Well, yeah. I just, I'm, I'll be cooperative. If people want to make up their own thing, that's fine too.